continue the conversation but we need to to finish this session by one o'clock as promised so pauline okay i'll try and be brief um the home group housing association um reuse their office equipment uh, and give to tenants who um have Wi-Fi and are capable and competent uh, to use it. And they've got a network of 800 customers online that they, that, that they support. Um, York Learning, loan learners' laptops, uh, provide training for community groups and had some experience with developing digital champions, but people tend to disappear. Volunteers disappear off and do different things. So it's time limited. Um, uh, AbilityNet, um, uh, help with, with lots of a, uh, areas of support and I think some of those um, have, have been outlined already uh, and training and support but they can't support with IT kit costs um, they, they can't support equipment uh, Lloyd's um, bank they've got internal academies to support um, staff they've had give, uh, tablets giveaways in the past they've got free Wi-Fi and branches that people use outside um, uh, and help with uh, and have helped shielded customers um, uh, get online uh, uh, in, during COVID. Uh, I did push the question as to whether, as uh, as a funding organisation, they could help fund a post um, or or even kits that we could loan to organisations to support um, communities. So Joe's going to support talk to colleagues around that. Um, council, obviously we've got our free Wi-Fi zones. We'll look at that if we can extend those. We don't have digital champions yet, but that might be something that we look at. We don't have the funding and we're looking towards colleagues to, to, to support that. Um, although we do have financial inclusion inclusion funding and, uh, and whether we can use that a bit differently going forward, but we can signpost. Um, York, York CBS, no kit or champions, but could cascade information to 200 voluntary organisations and, and make calls to vulnerable uh, customers and offer safeguarding uh, training to those going online also. Um, and uh, uh, Jennifer Brunswick, Organic Nurse Nursery, just made a point about not having a lot to give, and, and a lot, and their kit they use is donated. Um, but but made a comment about the the haves and the have not, and the and the gaps um, during COVID that are very very clear now, and they can't offer a fair service to everyone because of that digital gap. That's it. Thank you. Well, that's fantastic. Um, you know, already so many offers there, and this is what we want to collect. So I would say, you know, the mentee is still open, it's still scrolling. Please put down your offer on there and put your organisation on there. We've got Fiona from uh, York Explore, not, sorry, Explore York. And Fiona's going to wrap up and do the next steps for us. I'm going to leave the mentee meter slide um, still open for your comments while Fiona explains the next steps and will feedback from her group as well. Hi Fiona. Hi Fiona, can you hear us? Just trying to get you off mute Fiona. There we are, I think. Is that, can you hear me? Sorry, Helen. Technical error at the very last moment. Um, uh, again, a, a, good, a good group of people, including Phil from Hampshire, working for Digital Unite, who's had some wonderful, wonderful um, stories to tell about the work that he does um, in, um, which I've lost my notes now, um, but um, in uh, assisted living of helping people to get online and all the different things they do with it uh, and I really wanted to capture all of that so I've asked him if he'll send me some information on that because it just shows you that for everybody there is something. Um, so um, we had uh, Wyvern, York um, Racial Equality Network and Changing Lives work with, with people with multiple complex needs um, and so from them really it was just 
um, being able to send out information to their user groups, um, feeding back what the need is, um, so that we understand exactly what what people in those uh, working with those organisations need. Um, so having that information, um, uh, uh, what's it? Uh, uh, being able to send information out to everybody is such an important thing because all too often when we're working with people who are in these hard to reach groups, they're obviously hard to reach. And so it's really important to get the right organisations so that we're reaching people in the right way with what they want rather than what we assume that they might want. So do you want me to go on to next steps? Thank you. Yes, if you would, I can uh, change the slide and just to... I'll finish as well to let people know how they can continue the conversation. But yes, please, if you'd let everybody know next steps. Okay, so next steps. Well, goodness me, what a wonderful morning it's been. Thank you so much um, to Helen and Rich for organising this because it just didn't allowed me to just take part and, and, and enjoy it, which has been incredible and gone so fast. Um, I think, um, obviously, we want to... Um, look through what everybody's sent in. There's a huge amount of information on the chat, on Menti and through the groups. So really start to pull all of that together to just see where we are as a first step. I think we need to set a baseline um, because we talk about 100% digital. I think we need to think about, well, what does that mean? And how are we going to prove that we've got there? So we need to sort of take a baseline um, now and I think all the statistics that we've seen this morning are really helpful because it's incredibly difficult to find out up-to-date statistics around this so um, all the things that have been mentioned here are going to really help us get that accurate picture of what we need to um, of, of where we are now where we want to be and how, how we're going to get there I think we need to collect um, collect all the case studies because um, we've got so much rich information here. We've got um, from reports um, to stories to, to uh, case studies to numbers. We've got a whole load of information that we need to make sure we're using in the right way. And all the different case studies, are, that those are the persuaders and those are the things which are going to help us persuade people. Um, because I think if people can see themselves reflected in a case study, that's quite a powerful thing and will really help us to persuade them. Um, we need to, um, first of all, I think that we need to really look at what the funding opportunities might be for this. Um, and so um, thank you to anyone who's already contributed that this morning. Um, please do follow up with any more information because we really do need a person to lead on this. Explores, we are going to, uh, to provide the leadership. Um, we need somebody who's going to be that person out and about, um, who's going to be the person that everybody um, can meet with and partner up with. So we do need those funding ops so that we can make sure that, um, that we've, we're setting up a system which is really robust and is going to work. Um, I'm very grateful to the council for, um, for getting us this far, for seeing that there really is an issue coming out of the pandemic and for getting citizens online on board so that we can, we can get us to this point. And I'm really encouraged by the attendance um, this morning with the different organisations from all the points that have been raised. So, um, so all of you can expect to hear maybe in a week or two a sort of update from this morning with what um, what has come out of it, what the key points are and how we move forward. Um, so please do keep engaging if you've got things that you haven't managed to say yet. Um, but the, the, say the key priority to building this collaborative partnership is to start getting some funding in so that we can really get those people on the ground to, to work with everybody. So thank you very much, Helen. Thank you. Thanks, Fiona. That's a great wrap up. Just from us, we also wanted to let everybody vote on, as Fiona's outlined, there's an awful lot to do here. And sometimes the question is, where do you start? 
So we were going to do a priority slide. We haven't had time. So I'm going to email everybody with this vote, which will be, as I said, to sort of look at the issues and decide what's most important and what's most urgent. And that's going to give the group a little bit of direction of where we do start. And as Fiona said, Fiona will be coordinating and her team will be coordinating this from going forward. If you, I need to ask everyone if I can share your email with Fiona. Again, I'll do that on email. If you don't want me to, do let me know. And yes, thank you so much. We've really enjoyed it. And final comments from Pauline, who got us all started. Just unmute the new Pauline. Thank, thank you, um, Helen. And I just wanted to say a thank you, a final thank you to Helen and Richard for facilitating this session. And I've learned a few technical skills today, online skills today. Um, and I can't wait, wait to learn more about Zoom. Um, who, which has got more facilities in it than I ever dreamed of, uh, and Menti too. So thank you for that. Um, I um, also want to thank t uh, York, um, Explore York for um, coming forward to 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 um, really pull all this together for us. You know, we we all of us working individually cannot make this happen uh, and explore York uh, are on the ground in every community and, and will support that but they do need this resource um, so I do, I, I do have a plea out there for funders um, from the banks and any tech companies that are involved and I think we probably just need to do that bit more about accessing public sector uh, private sector support um, and, and finally just want to thank everybody today for taking part it's been fantastic enlightening the stories are, uh, that we We've got our, our gold dust for us to take forward. So thank you very much to everybody. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.